Republican Celeste Malloy has won a Utah special election to replace her former boss, U.S. Representative Chris Stewart, in a race that will put a woman back among Utah's five-member congressional delegation for the first time since 2019. Malloy beat state Senator Kathleen Reeb, who as minority whip is the Utah Senate's second-ranking Democrat. Stewart resigned in September after 10 years in Congress because his wife is ill, Malloy was Stewart's chief legal counsel. She had Stewart's endorsement and that of former Utah U.S. Representative Rob Bishop and was favored to win in the reliably Republican 2nd District, which sprawls from Salt Lake City to the state's western and southern edges. Malloy will be only the fifth woman in history to represent Utah in the U.S. House. The most recent was Mia Love, who served from 2015 to 2019 and was the state's first black congresswoman. Utah has never had a woman in the U.S. Senate. A Southern Nevada native and current resident of southwestern Utah, Malloy campaigned on improving security on the U.S.-Mexico border, reigning in what she calls out-of-control federal spending, protecting religious freedom and putting Utah more in control of natural resources on its federal lands, she highlighted her experience working for Stewart in an October 26 debate with Reeb. I've been working for this district. I've been solving issues that people in this district have called their congressmen about and asked for help, Malloy said in the debate. Congress is struggling right now. Things aren't going smoothly and we really need somebody to get into the state who knows how Congress works. She will join Utah's three other Republican U.S. House members. The state's two U.S. senators are also Republican. Malloy dominated Reeb in fundraising, bringing in almost $600,000 and spending more than three-quarters of that over the seven months leading up to the election. Reeb brought in half that amount and spent about 90% according to candidate reports filed with the Federal Election Commission. A six-term congressman and U.S. Air Force veteran, Stewart set off a Republican scramble to fill his seat after his announcement in May he was resigning. At a Republican convention in June, Malloy was the top vote-getter among more than 10 candidates seeking the job. Malloy went on to ride a wave of rural support and win a three-way Republican special primary September 5 beating former state representative Becky Edwards and businessperson Bruce Hoff. The primary was a rare gauge this year of how Republican voters feel about a string of indictments against Donald Trump. Malloy, a Trump supporter, beat Edwards, a critic of the former president.